China also has far more economic strength and greater resources than the Soviet Union ever did. And that worries the US. The bigger the rivalry, the further the two space superpowers are likely to push themselves. China does not want to be subordinate to the US on Earth and doesn't want to be subordinate to the US in space. Right. The concern would be that China may have a jump in the areas of high-tech innovation that will be most important in terms of powering innovation and productivity during the 21st century, and that can perhaps be turned into advantages on the battle. From the US-China trade war, a controversial security law in Hong Kong, building in the South China Sea, to China's global infrastructure projects, there is undeniably a Cold War-like battle for influence on all fronts. And that includes space. We're in a space race today, just as we were in the 1960s. And the stakes are even higher. Although China hasn't come close to achieving what the US has, they're catching up. Since 2018, China has launched more rockets into orbit than any other country. In 2019, they became the first to land a rover on the far side of the moon. And in 2020, China released the last satellite in their global navigation satellite system, called Beidou, China's answer to the US-made GPS. Like China's big infrastructure projects here on Earth, their goals are to get a foothold in space technology that will drive profit, make them independent from US technology, get an upper hand in military operations, and show superiority on the world stage. With Joe Biden in the White House, experts think space spending could slow, although the Democratic Party has stated that it will continue the goal of sending Americans back to the moon and beyond to Mars. We are launching humans to the moon for the first time since 1972. And that might not be a bad thing. While a Cold War scenario has dangerous political and economic implications, a race to the cosmos, like any good rivalry, could be a huge benefit for space and other industries. In 1957, the Soviet Union shocked the world by putting the first ever satellite into space, Sputnik 1. There is real military significance to these launchings. The satellite's unanticipated success brought on the American Sputnik crisis, a period of public fear and anxiety in Western nations about the perceived technological gap between the United States and Soviet Union. And let me say that our scientists and engineers in offering their service to the government in this field have been generous, patriotic, and prompt. And nowhere was government spending more apparent and highly publicized as the space race of the time. It was the largest percentage of the budget spent on space in American history. And the intense rivalry allowed for some of the biggest accomplishments humanity has ever seen, including the first living animal to enter space by Russia, the first man to enter space by Russia, and the first probe to land on the moon, also Russia. The moon landing is considered a conclusion to the space race. And as US-Soviet relations improved, space spending waned. Since the Apollo program, the NASA budget has hovered around 0.5 to 1%. But in the last few decades, the world has seen the rise of a new power, China. While governed by an authoritarian regime like the USSR was, China also has far more economic strength and greater resources than the Soviet Union ever did. And that worries the US. The president has already signed into law the largest NASA budget since the days of the Apollo program. But space isn't simply a show of technological strength like it was during the Cold War. The space industry is now worth an estimated $345 billion, with technology that we use every day depending on it, like GPS. China started launching an alternative to the American system called Beidou in 2000. The recently completed version is 20 centimeters more accurate than GPS by some estimates. 
China even opened up the private space industry in 2014 in the hope of encouraging competitors to the US private space industry. iSpace was the first private company in China to successfully launch a rocket and satellite into orbit in 2019. And a company called Galaxy Space plans to launch 650 low Earth orbit satellites similar to SpaceX's Starlink, which will give better, faster internet access to people all over the world. But it's not all about business. China will have to prove that they can perform the kind of missions NASA has done, and possibly go even further. Like China's recent moon rover, Chang'e 4. Although it was the third country to land a rover on the moon, it was the first to land on the far side of the moon. And China's recently launched Mars rover isn't the first, but it's the first orbiter lander rover all in one mission. China even has a Voyager-like mission in its initial planning stages that will do a flyby of Neptune and then out to explore interstellar space. But more importantly, China will build its own space station, which will serve as an essential tool for tests and research in space and offer an alternative to the International Space Station. And there are signs that China's space program is stumbling. In 2020, a Long March 5B rocket scattered debris over Côte d'Ivoire after an uncontrolled re-entry of the rocket's core stage. This was the largest botch of its kind in years. The competition may prove to be too much. China is up against not only a space program with a long and decorated history, but one with more ambitious missions than ever before. The US is now trying to beat China back to the moon to build a lunar base, harvest resources, and then use it as a stepping stone to get to Mars. This time when we go to the moon, we're gonna go to stay with a purpose of learning how to live and work on another world so that we can take that knowledge and information to Mars. Other NASA projects include a Mars mission equipped with a mini helicopter to fly on the surface of the red planet, another mini-helicopter mission planned for Titan, Saturn's largest moon, and the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, an upgrade to the Hubble Space Telescope, whose photographs changed our understanding of the universe as we know it. The ambitions of China and the US may depend on how long their rivalry continues. If history is any lesson, the bigger the rivalry, the further the two space superpowers are likely to push themselves. The jury is really still out in terms of how effective China will be in mastering innovation in these areas. But if China continues to lack the open informational ecosystem that we've typically associated with success and innovation, there may still be significant obstacles to uh, maintaining the dynamism needed to spur innovation over the long run.